June 24th, 1993. Now for all Ducks fans, we know this date was important to us back then as it is today. It was this day, this very important symbolic day, that the foundations of our team, our roster, was created, formed, and was assembled on this day. Our Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks hired their first general manager, who then was given permission to hire the assistant general manager and assemble the front office, scouting staff, and later the coaching staff. June 24th to all hockey fans who are not familiar with our team was the 1993 NHL expansion draft held in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. Our Mighty Ducks and Hub Ducks, along with their expansion cousins back then, were given 24 slots to select 24 players. Three goalies, eight defensemen, and 13 forwards. Looking back and looking at these players, we know their names, we know their faces. We know what they bring to the table. By selecting these players, by assembling them, drafting them in, this, in the NHL draft of that year, basically the NHL expansion draft, the Ducks created a roster that would become the foundation the stepping stone and be an effective roster for their inaugural year a few months later in October. The faces we see, the faces we know, the names we know, we know them now today. Some of these players made an impact on Duck's inaugural year whether it's big or small, but we know what they bring to the table was a result of the strategies and, of course, the hard work and dedication of the first Ducks general manager, Jacques Fiera, and his front office staff at that time. The names we know, as I said before, We know very well. For goaltenders, the Ducks selected in their first overall pick in the 1993 NHL expansion draft was goalie Guy Hebert from St. Louis, Glenn Healy from the New York Islanders, Ron Tugnot from Edmonton. The Ducks picked eight defensemen from New Jersey, Oxe Kazatonov, from Montreal of the then Stanley Cup champions that won it in 1993, Sean Hill, from Buffalo, Bill Holder, from Detroit, Bobby Dallas, from Hartford, Randy Ladoser. From San Jose, David Williams. From Tampa Bay, Dennis Vial. And from Ottawa, Mark Ferner. Those were the eight defensemen, as well as the three goalies our Mighty Ducks and Heim Ducks selected. The 13 forwards our Ducks selected back then. Stephen King from the New York Rangers. Tim Sweeney from Boston. Troy Loney from the Pittsburgh Stu Grimson from Chicago, Terry Yake from Hartford, Jared Scalade from New Jersey, Bob Corkum from Buffalo, Anna Tony Semina from Vancouver, Joe Sacco from Toronto, 
Lonnie Loach, Jim Thompson from Los Angeles, Trevor Harvison, Halverson, excuse me, from Washington, and Robin Bowell from San Jose. 13 forwards, 8 defensemen, and 3 goalies. 24 players. 24 players representing the foundation and the starting of the creation of our Mighty Ducks, Anaheim Ducks. Now, why am I mentioning you these names? Is if you look deep into the stats, even though how big or small it is, it gives you an idea of why the Ducks select these players. These players, if you look at back then, all those years ago, were given a second chance. A second chance to extend their careers, a second chance to play hockey and make a mark, build on any momentum they have, that they make it on this team, and also become a superstar for the first time in their hockey career. This inaugural roster, the Mighty Ducks, Anaheim Ducks selected, looking at the experience they have, the experience of this team, this team was based on a few things, based on experience, based on competitiveness, toughness, and of course, experiencing and winning the Stanley Cup and Calder Cup. This team had notable players that were drafted in this expansion draft. Most importantly, Stu Grimson from Chicago, aka the Grim Reaper. Grimson had over like three one hundred plus. Penalty minutes. He was an enforcer. He was an enforcer. He was not afraid to throw, throw down the gloves and ready to fight for his honor, fight for the teammates' honor. He was not afraid to do what is needed to be done in order to win. Another notable expansion draft selection was Alexei Kazatonov. Kazatonov has experience not just in the NHL but also in international hockey. He was a famed member of the Soviet Union, Russia's Green Unit. Now, if most of you non-hockey and sports fans now don't know, it, it was a five-man effective uh, scoring unit that worked well compared to North America's three-man unit in offense. Kazatonov had experience in the international level, and he brought that to the Ducks. Other notables, well, was including Troy Looney and Sean Hill. Both players recently won the Stanley Cup. And speaking of the Stanley Cup, as well as the experience, this roster the Ducks assembled had experiencing and winning championships in all levels. Of the 24 players that won, that have been selected by our Mighty Ducks, Anaheim Ducks back then, the Ducks assembling this roster, five, at least, few players have won at least five Stanley Cups. Four Calder Cups, three Olympic Golds, two NCAA Hockey Collegiate Championships in the United States. With 34 plus years of NHL and AHL Stanley Cup, Calder Cup playoff experience. Looking back now, looking at this roster, looking at these, what they've done. For me personally, being someone who adopted and started to slowly embrace this team as my own for the first time, 
was something that was a mixture of curiosity, interest, and a sense of excitement. The ducks were a new team, a new logo, new colors, and of course, having to deal with the butt of jokes by not traditional hockey fans. And this team that the Ducks laid the foundations in founding the roster that would later be built on upon the first free agent signings and the trades that we'll make in a month, in the next month, along with the NHL entry draft, tells you what our Ducks back then in their first year, in their inaugural year, wanted this franchise to be when they set foot on the ice at the then Arrowhead Pond, and when the puck drops, were ready to prove themselves. Think about it. Our Ducks were basically fighting and battling adversity, and were, of course, the underdog since day one. And we know this. We know this very well. And looking back now, it was... I don't believe most of us had regrets in supporting and rooting for this team on day one when the Ducks were hired their first coach, the first general manager, unveiling the names, the colors, the logos of the road and white hockey sweaters, and, uh, and of course, finally assembling their roster in the 1993 expansion draft. Not to mention, a few, a few days later, picking their first ever player in the NHL draft in 1993. That is in Paul Korea. It gives you, and it gives me personally a sense of, I wouldn't say nostalgia, but a reflection of how far this team has come. And these 24 players that were selected was basically the, the first ones, the originals that paved the road, that set the tone, that made the Ducks who they are now. Some of them we know now, we know now have made an impact, have made that mark on our team. We know their names. Guillaume Bear, the original Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks goalie, who spent the first eight years and seasons with our Ducks, from Manning the Hill, Manning the Net, the number one goalie from '93 to 2001. He made his mark. He made his mark there. Other players like Bobby Dulles and. Bob Corkum and Troy Loney and Sean Hill. These players, even though that they were considered or looked down upon, they had experience. They know what to do. But they what they did a few months later in October proved everyone wrong. And when the Ducks made their first trades and first signings, it which I will basically um, cover in the next week or two. It tells you that this team with Jack Fira was focusing on and just trying to make sure that everything was set right, that this team was basically ready not to be cannon fodder. Minus... If you minus Dennis Vial and Glenn Healy that were taken in phase two of the 1993 NHL expansion draft. And basically it was literally kind of like a compensation to both the Lightning and the Senators who back then were not too great of expansion teams along with San Jose, of course. There should be no... Uh, regrets on this on on the roster 
the Ducks have, have uh, set up. It wasn't the worst roster. I mean, looks can be deceiving. Even looking at the roster at the 24 players that I um, looked over and looked at the stats back then. And keep in mind, I was a young guy back then, try, getting interested in hockey and starting to fall in love with the sport at the time. I wanted a team of my own. And I'm sure most of you and all Ducks fans in Orange County, California, and around the world were following and wanted a team of their own. And lo and behold, this team, coming out based on a, on a children's movie, on hockey, came out just on the right time. And for me personally, I always have a sense of appreciation on the expansion draft in 1993 and the players are Mighty Ducks selected. Um, these players were not star players. They were regular guys and players who loved the sport, played for themselves, for any community they represented it. And they did represent the Mighty Ducks and Heim Ducks in their first year. I mean, guys like Bobby Dallas and Gabe Bear and Stu Grimson, Joe Sacco, uh, Mark Ferner, Sean Hill, Tim Sweeney, Stephen King. Later on, players like Don McSween and, and, and Todd Ewan and Patrick Karmbach. I can go on and on and on, but I will cover this team later when in October when they have all their players assembled, when they have these guys together. I remember thinking to myself back then, and keep in mind, I was a young kid, having a feeling that this team could maybe turn a few heads, maybe shock some people. And they did in their first season. And they did uh, with the players they had at their disposal. Building on this foundation, as I say, of these players that the Ducks selected. It puts a smile on my face. And looking back, I really do see, and in my heart, this was the best assembled expansion draft roster um, in NHL history besides the Vegas Golden Knights. I kid you not. I know most of you would, would disagree and how most of you would say, Moose, you're at it again, man. But it's my personal opinion. If you just look at the stats and look at the players and the, the, the championship Stanley Cup, they have won the experience and the toughness and the multitudes of, of skills and combinations they, they did during their first year. These players were basically, were our heroes, were my heroes. They were my inspiration. They were also your inspiration. I speak on this because I want to ensure that Ducks history and all Ducks fans remember these players, remember this event, remember the names and the players, the coaches and the general managers who have contributed, who were selected and picked to play for this team with a funny name. And they did. And these 24 players, as I, and, I, and I know I am repeating myself, putting them all together, along with some that were drafted in the entry draft, it turned a lot of hits. And it did. It turned a lot of hits. It really, I'm sure, grew the fan base. Really won over a lot of new fans. In the first year. And most of you guys remember them very well. I do remember them very well, personally. I, I do remember just 
been looking at these players and, and the names and, and it gives you that sense of okay this is going to this t this roster and this team will be going into our inaugural year will make probably a mark and they did and they did um, tying for the most points by an expansion team a record that won't be broken until the uh, Vegas Golden Knights and um, having the most wins by a first year expansion team we cannot assume that this was the, the, the most um, we cannot assume that this was the most uh, worst roster don't let anyone assume that because this roster that was selected and if you've got the, any of these digests all the names of these players the 24 players that were selected in, in that year in the expansion draft is in this book or in any of the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks media guide and it's always important to remember these players to look back and remember and appreciate what they have done it may have been small for some players to contribute, but for others, it was a fresh start. Like Bobby Dawes, and of course, Stu Grimson, and Sean Hill, and Ron Tugnon, and Troy Loney. And I know I mentioned those names before, but keep in mind, though, when this team was formed and found, these players were the foundation. And what they did months later would set the course for our team, set the course for the identity that we cherished, no matter what. And that path, I'm sure that most of you, all Ducks fans, including myself, even though that we went through the toughest times, the highs and lows, we should have no regrets. That's the main thing. And those are my first impressions.